Mina. Oh, hi, I'm Mr. Jesus, freaking gamer here. Yeah, it's it's good morning. It's not good night. Uh, it's one it was one of those nights slash days again for me, where it just kind of the end of my day is kind of the morning of most people's days. So today we're going to Psalm 82. I'm going to focus on verses six and seven. I said, "You are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High, but you shall die like men." and fall like one of the princes. Now, this chapter in particular seems to be talking to just judges in general. Maybe you could stretch that to say people in authority, people who have authority over other people's lives. So people in a position of power. Um, and certainly, you know, judges are a part of pretty much any judicial system, any government. In America, we have plenty of judges, <clears throat> appellate courts, Supreme Courts, etc. We have all of that stuff. Now, I'm not going to focus too much on the You Are God section. That I feel like a much larger message is needed to fully explain that. Or at least, I'll say, at least I would need to focus, cross-reference, etc. Not going too much into that. If you look at the context of this chapter within itself, it pretty much seems to indicate people in authority. So... Yeah, uh, and if you want to do research on your own, by all means, will I cover it in a future episode? Very, very possibly. For now, I'm going to leave it at Judges. And all of you are children of the Most High. So, all of us, of course, are created and sustained by the power of God. I think there's a biblical argument to be made to say that only Christians are children of God because we've accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior, so we're adopted into the family Galatians talks about being adopted into the family of God. So I think an argument can be made there, but there's also the fact that we are all created by God. Adam was created in the image of God, and all of us, while we're in the image of Adam, complete with sin nature, we still have, we still have God as our creator, and we have God as our sustainer. So for the, for the sake of this psalm, we're just going with, we're all children of God. We're all we're all created by the Most High, and we're created in His image. For the for the sake of again, I could go in. So there are two like tangents I could go into there. And I'm not going to go into that. My focus is actually going to be on verse seven. So you know, talking to the talking to people who are powerful, people who are in some position of power, and people who are in the image of God, children of the Most High. So. Exalted men, perhaps? Exalted human beings, maybe? Is probably the, a good way to look at this. And that leads me directly into the main point. But you shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Like one of the princes, once again, referring to someone in position, in authority. And yeah, we're all going to die. Uh, duh. Who doesn't know that? But the emphasis here, your gods... Children of the Most High, like one of the princes, but you shall die. You shall die. Now I'll say, I, I did it side, which is supposed to be, you are God's children of the Most High, like one of the princes, but you shall die. So, so, these, so human beings in great positions of power, perhaps they have great wealth, great influence, great fame and fortune, perhaps a combination of all of these things. So great human beings, almost exalted human beings, shall die like men. That's the thing that I want to emphasize here. That's the thing that I want to emphasize for this particular message. Even, even when, no, even, no, blah. English, how do I do this? Even if you are the most powerful, the richest, most handsome, most beautiful, most famous human being in the face of the world. Your days are numbered. You're mortal. You're not going to overcome that. You're not going to defeat that. You will die just like a man because that's what you are. You're a human being. You're not invincible. And that's the main thing I wanted to put out in this video right here. Don't think but so highly of yourself. Whoever you are watching this, keep in mind what you are. No matter how great you are, you are still a human being. Yeah, you are created in the image of God. But you shall certainly fall one day. 
Maybe you'll be like Enoch or Elijah. Maybe that'll be the case, and um, you'll get to skip out on death. Two people did it. I don't think it's impossible that the, you know there might be a third, fourth, maybe a few more. I don't think it's impossible. But the vast majority of humans are going to die. And in fact, some of you may think I'm even crazy to believe uh, you know, that whole Bible story. Um, in which case, I would ask, why are you, why did you bother watching five minutes of a Bible video? If you did, thank you very much for giving me your time. But yeah, just, we limited, finite, weak, fragile human beings. We need to keep, we need to keep proper perspective. We're not that great. We're not that strong. We're not that powerful. Just like, just like, you know, a flower buddy in the springtime you know a strong enough wind will blow us away so let's uh let, let's let's keep that in mind as we go about our business our lives um the day to day let's keep in mind how fragile we are and how it doesn't take very much to do us in to do us over and one day we uh, you know unless a, an Edgar Elijah scenario pops up we will die like men regardless of how great powerful rich famous or authoritative we are. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, it was a sober reminder, but um, I think every now and then those are very good and those are very helpful and it helps us, helps to keep us grounded and helps to keep us in our place. And as human beings that sometimes struggle with pride and overconfidence, I think every now and then it's a good thing for those reminders to be in place. I love you very much and God bless.